Welcome back everybody to Saurus 001's channel and this is No Man's Sky, the Waypoint Update. Now I have a few tips for you on certain aspects of the game that you may not be familiar with. So let's get straight into it. So say you have a discovery that is yet to be discovered and you've been searching and searching for this creature for a very long time. Well, one of the main problems that I find when it comes to this sort of situation is that you have not been waiting long enough in the same place. Some of these creatures take a little while to spawn in and you need to wait for them to actually spawn in in the same place don't just keep moving around because you're not going to be able to find them. Like this creature over here, it wasn't here in the water and I waited in the same spot for about uh, two or three minutes and it just suddenly appeared and that was the last one that I needed to complete my discoveries on this planet. There is another thing that you need to know if you are having a problem finding a particular creature. Uh, what you should do is throw out a creature pellet because some creatures only show up when you throw out a creature pellet. They will come from underground or out in the cave or whatever. They will show up after that. So just throw a creature pellet out and you'll probably find some, your last creature a little bit easier that way. Here is something that didn't make sense to me the first time that I heard about it. But nevertheless, it seems to be true. These are solar panels. Now, what is so weird about these solar panels, you might ask. Well, what is weird about them is that we are in a cave at the moment. This is a cave system. As you can see, we are completely underground, and yet these solar panels are generating solar power. Which, if that seems strange to you, you're right. It is. It is most definitely strange. See, it's providing grid power, and these solar panels are underground. Apparently, they can go inside buildings and things like that as well. So, that is something that I didn't really know, and someone pointed it out to me and had to check it myself, but it's actually true. Yes, solar panels do not need to actually be outside. They can be underground and will still generate power. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk to you about is this damaged machinery over here. Now, we're going to go over to the damaged machinery and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Most of you know that this damaged machinery can give you nanites with the chance at a module. However, what some of you do not know is that every time there is a damaged machinery, there is always a buried technology module nearby. So they go hand in hand. One cannot exist without the other. Well, buried technology modules can exist without the damaged machinery. However, whenever there is a damaged machinery, look nearby because there will always be a buried technology module right next to the damaged machinery. So I hope that helps. The damaged machinery provides you with salvage data. Now, this stuff can actually be broken down in the refiner for nanite clusters. You get 15 nanite clusters for every salvage data that you recover. It's a quick way of getting nanites early in the game if you really need it and you don't need to unlock any blueprints. Um, so there you go. You can do it in your personal refiner, you can do it at your home refiner, whatever you want to do. There you go, you can turn salvage data into nanite clusters. Okay, so the next thing that I want to talk to you about is free nanites. You talk to this guy, Iteration Helios, and he gives you this little spiel about being an old soul and the things you've seen. Give him your data, and he will give you free nanites. 410 nanites. You have to have new data in order to get it, and I think you can only do it once a day. And also, this guy, if you have any progress 
for milestones you can transmit him milestone data and he will give you extra nanites on top of the helios nanites so there you go next thing i would like to talk about is this guy iteration chronos now if you have not visited this guy you should probably take a look and see what he has to offer because if you have any foodstuffs you can turn them into him for nanites now the higher quality the food that you hand him the more nanites he will give you on average it is a bit variable with the rates of how many nanites he gives you but the difference in food um, depends as to what he will actually give you in nanites so there you go so the next thing I would like to point out is this. This is the station's galactic trade terminal. You can see the resources that it has here, but this is a captain's trade terminal. And you can see it's completely different resources to what is in the, in the trade terminal. Now, each captain actually has different trading materials so you only have to visit one station to find all of the materials that you could ever need Did you see this guy's got different stuff again completely different all tritanium and stuff actually i'm going to buy some tritanium but yes there you go so space stations are excellent for trading because you can just come in here talk to captains check out the galactic trade terminals and you can find practically everything you will ever need now if you remember my previous video on no man's sky 10 things you probably didn't know about no man's sky i showed you how to acquire as many of these modules as you wished and also how to get your upgrade modules however what do you do with the leftover modules that you don't need? Well, you talk to this guy here. He goes through a little blurb thing. And you click on sell. And you can sell all of this stuff. So we've got the Artemis translator package. Alright, we're going to sell all this stuff. So we've got some pulse engine modules. Hyperdrive modules. Starship shield modules. And that's a really quick way of getting nanites. You can also sell the scrap when you do scrap a ship and make back, well, like 80% of the actual cost of the ship that you bought to get the scrap in the first place. So I hope that helps. And I probably should have pointed that out in the previous video. It was actually one of my community members who told me that I didn't actually mention that. So, the next thing I would like to talk about is the sentinel scraps that you get from killing sentinels. When you kill these guys, they will drop pugnium and they will drop salvage glass. They will also drop, sometimes, some modules from the salvage glass. Right, so we got some salvage glass here. There we go, we got a module, a Sentinel Weapon Shard, and it sells for 480 nanites. So, that's a quick way of getting some nanites early on in the game. It's just a module after all, and all you do is sell it to that vendor that I've already told you about. Let's get out of here. So you're probably wondering why I'm in my submarine. Well, this can scan for crashed freighters. As far as I know, it is the only exocraft that can scan for crashed freighters. But it is part of my next tip. So we're going to find a crashed freighter to begin with. So you get in your ship and you fly over to the sunken wreck. Alright, so you're at the sunken wreck now. Let's go. I'm just gonna recharge this real quick.
So, come down to the sunken wreck. And find your cargo pods. There we go. One cargo pod. Um, yeah, and a loot. And a loot. Right, so that will give you something craftable, but that is not why we are here. We are searching for something, and if we find one, I will let you know. There it is, the salvaged frigate module. That is one way of getting salvaged frigate modules, because I know that they're extremely hard to find these days. But I got one salvage frigate module from one crashed freighter. I know that you need like a hundred of them or something, so don't bother pointing that out. But that is one way of getting them. The other way is through missions. But now I have a salvage frigate module. I'm just going to get back in my ship and we will draw this video to a close. So. If you enjoy these videos, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel, and I will see you all next time. Peace out.